Ah, it's been one year since I've uploaded an Overwatch video on this channel. How could I come back while also milking as much views as possible? Hmm, I think I might know. So, you read the title. I want to try and complete the entire Battle Pass for Overwatch 2 this season in only one week. That is 800,000 XP. Holy shit. If you watched my Ramacha video over a year ago, you would think that if 450,000 XP was hard back then, 800,000 XP in the same time frame would be damn near impossible. Well, I guess the Overwatch dev saw my trash video and said, hmm, Sandin's got a point. They changed the way XP works. Now, instead of 150 flat XP per win, you get 400 XP. Weekly challenges now stack from previous weeks, and if you do three per week, you get an extra 20k XP bonus. And consecutive wins can give on 200 XP instead of 100 XP. I didn't really care about doing the math like I did last time with the Ramacha challenge, but I knew that with all of this information, it just might be possible to complete the battle pass in one week if I broke up with my girlfriend, told all my friends I'm unavailable for a week, and put myself through the fucking torture chamber, and played nearly 10 hours a day, all for that sweet, sweet Genji skin. My god, it is so ugly. Day one. Now to clear the air, this isn't exactly a fresh account. I don't want to ask my wife's boyfriend's husband's dog's previous owner for another phone number for another account just so I can clear it away after making this video. So instead, I'm on an account that hasn't been played on in a while. It still has zero playtime this season though. I started this challenge on July 2nd, so I had until July 9th to be tier 80. I loaded up the game, played for a really long time without worrying too hard about challenges, since most of them I can get passively without having to actively check and go do them. With my amazing double digit IQ, I actually forgot to check how much I played this day, but I ended the day at tier 15, so we're off to a pretty good start. But this isn't exactly all good news though, as it means most of my weeklies were completed today. So most of this challenge will be a lot of grinding with little incentive to do any challenges, but just spam queue day two. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What do you think is the biggest scam in the whole world? Is it just gambling in general? Is it praying you get a good skin in your Valorant shop? No, it's fucking flex queuing Overwatch. I'm only getting tank. I don't think I've actually gotten a single damage or support game while queuing flex. And I'm going to be real. If you're enjoying tank in this season, you might need psychiatric screening. This is awful. But by the middle of the day, I literally had to force myself to queue other roles or I was going to lose my mind. When I did this challenge over a year ago for Amatra, there was a lot less heroes. So burnout was actually a really big factor. However, with the addition of all these new heroes, Heroes, I wasn't really feeling any burnout because I could always just play a different hero. And I was really feeling it on Maga and Alari. Those DLC characters are so fun. By the end of day two, I checked my hours and realized I've spent nine hours on this challenge so far, and I'm tier 27. Day 3. When I woke up today, I made the bright observation that I'm just not on pace to get in tier 80. This means that I have to somehow get to tier 40 by the end of today to try and get back on track. After playing tank, I'm. <clears throat> God forbid my mistake. Flex Q for about an hour and a half. Well, I kind of wanted to. Uh, well, uh, however, a good thing about playing a video game like a full-time job is that you meet some really awesome people. I had this one dude in one of my games trying to go for the Reaper Pixel Spray, which is one of, if not the hardest spray to get in the entire game. And because I'm just a really nice guy and definitely not trying to content farm, I helped him get it, and that warrants me to subscribe and $20 on my PayPal. What the fuck are you doing? Go show me money. I'm just a nice guy. Come on, I'm doing this for you. By the end of the day, I checked my weekly challenges, and my final one requires me to play comp for about 90 games, with wins being two games, instead of one. This is because it can be done three times because it's stacked over the previous weeks. And I wanted to do it ASAP, but my brain was quite literally melting, so I ended around tier 36 with me spending 10 hours total today playing, which isn't quite what I wanted to, but I would much rather be a stable functioning human for tomorrow than remove my frontal lobe just to get tier 40 at the end of day three. Day 4. By day 4, I'm starting to realize that getting tier 80 in a week is definitely possible, but I don't even know if I'm gonna have the willpower to do it. I was mentally giving up halfway through this challenge. This is how hard it was. I've been playing for 8-10 to 10 hours straight daily, but I'm only getting around 9 tiers on average without counting the challenges. But because I'm playing comp today instead of crit plate, it should be better because I should have to actually care about winning, but at least I won't be a zombie when I play. I did my placements on tank, and like the amazing guy I am, I placed flat 5. I had so many awesome plays in plat, y'all. Like, I ate a Gravis Sigma, and I also dropped 40 this one game, but I just lost. Well, that's kind of just plat for you. I ended today with another 8 hours onto the challenge, and I'm at tier 44. I got about 30 games of comp left, and then my weekly challenges will be all gone, and I have to solely rely on dailies and spam queuing. Tomorrow, I hope to get around another 8 hours in, and hopefully catch up to a back on pace to the challenge. Day 5. I got up and realized to myself, I'm kinda sick of playing tank though, so I'm gonna swap to my main role, support, to make this challenge a tiny bit easier. And even though support takes longer on average for queue time, I'd much rather play it now because damage sponge simulator every game is just not my style. After queuing comp yesterday, I kinda wanna keep doing it even after I get my weekly challenge done because it's actually just making the games a lot more bearable and I would rather have fun while doing this challenge than slave away my entire day. While queuing in Diamond, somehow there were two cheaters blatantly hacking for fun. I didn't really realize earlier because they were actually on my team. I thought that oh, it was just Diamond. They were ego inflated smurfs who also had hands and a brain. But I threw a death to double check and well, uh, 
they just clearly do a lot of aim training. The funny part is, at the end of the game, the dude tried to like beg me to leave so he wouldn't get banned, but I mean, if you're keying in diamond, you definitely have money for other accounts, and you're just a loser. After doing my placements and support, I got placed diamond 4 with being 15 games in for my challenge. The key times for support are actually really, really bad, and it's actually impacting how many games I've been able to play. The XP gain itself is decent for each game, but I was spending an hour to two in queue while only actually getting to play an hour to two of the game. I got the rest of my competitive games done, and I hit Masters 5 on support. It was then that I realized, though, that even if I was able to enjoy myself playing more comp, the queue times were just that detrimental to my actual XP efficiency, so it just wasn't worth it. Losing in this elo got me sad, so it was actually a detriment to my mental as well. So queuing comp is a double-edged sword, so I stuck to quick play for the rest of the challenge. Now, this might sound really silly, but it also just clicked to me on day fucking 5 of this challenge that the battle pass gives you a 20% XP boost for this entire season. I think if I bought at the start of the season, the challenge would have definitely been closer than it is right now, especially with the XP boost on the challenges and whatnot. I did day 5 at tier 52 with 10 hours play today, and I'm ready to move on to day 6. Day 6. I'm gonna be real with y'all today. I slept at 2am last night at day 5. I was damn near happy doing this shit. I had an alarm set for 10am to play Overwatch 2, but my alarm did not go off. My stupid ass woke up at 4pm. I slept 14 hours because I was this drained from this challenge. I was still really behind. I only got to play an hour before it hit 6pm, which is when I've been stopping the challenge every day. This day quite literally costed me the challenge. Day 7. I still had hope to beat this challenge, and by hope I mean just queuing all day and night until 6pm. I also had hope because in 16 hours my weeklies would reset alongside my dailies. This means I'd get 9k XP from the dailies and 25 XP from the weeklies plus the extra 20k from doing all 3. This gives me 54,000 XP, so if I can do every single weekly before 6pm, I would still need to gain 176,000 XP for me to get tier 80. I realized at 4am while in queue that if I'm in a 1 minute queue and I play a 10 minute game, then each 10 minute game would net me on average like 1700 XP. After playing for 14 hours, I would only get 13 tiers, and with the challenges, that would get me to around the 77th tier. This is really bad news, as it means it would just be physically impossible for me to actually complete this challenge on time unless I get all instant queues, but that's it's just impossible. I realized that it was just basically over. I called the challenge at tier 60 with a total of me playing 63 hours in the past 7 days. To answer the question of can you actually max out the battle pass in one week, yes, and I am so down to try it again. As I said before, if I wasn't a vegetable on an entire day, and also having bought the battle pass and doing this at the end of season where I would have a lot more weeklies, definitely possible to do this without having nearly as much struggle. I think personally this challenge is a lot harder than when I tried getting Amatra, because playing 8 hours a day monotonously is really awful for your mental and for your physical, and the whole time I was just really wishing it was over. I didn't enjoy a single moment of this. I think the worst part of this challenge though is just the queue times. Quick play or competitive, as realistically I would spend nearly 40% of my time playing the game in queue, and with it being really bad when I was doing my support placements. I think I want to do more challenges like this in the future though, but as my little comeback video to Overwatch, I really wanted to revisit a challenge that I did and enjoyed making, but with a lot more difficulty involved. If we can get to 100 likes on this video, I will definitely try to get all the way to level 200 in only one month on a fresh account. Thank you all for watching, maybe stick around for some more videos, I'm definitely making more.